Hi, my name is Nathan. I've been directing these stories of life change. And so you don't really get to see me much behind the camera. Recently, we shot a story with Dan Tao, uh, where he shared a, a story of someone who was uh, close to him that he got to interview in, in Nigeria. And while we were filming some uh, behind the scenes, I asked him the question, what is your favorite story of life change or impact through the Jesus Film Project? And he shared an amazing story. The story uh, is a little longer and there might be some people moving around in the background, but I couldn't not share this story. I, sh I shared it, I mean. Mm -hmm. So you want me to yeah, share, share it? With you. <clears throat> yeah. One of the most powerful story of life change I have ever experienced in my work with the Jesus film is the story of the Kokofuman Paramount Chief in, in Ghana. The Kokofuman were, is, is uh, responsible over almost over 500,000 people in Ghana. And uh, he's, he was one of the most powerful traditional leader in the area. His life was busy normally because people usually um, curse each other. Um, when they have conflict, um, they would curse with the river god. So his life was pretty much very busy, appeasing spirits. One day, the Jesus film was translated in the heart language of this people group. And Jesus, people start watching the Jesus film and their lives start changing. Because of the gospel of Jesus Christ in their heart language, people start stopping from cursing each other. And as a result, the life of the cock of a man was not as busy as it used to be. So one day, while he was with his cabinet member, the sub-chief, it just occurred to him that his life is not as busy as it used to be. So he turned to this, uh, this sub-chief and said, hey, what's going on with our people? They're not, they not coming with a uh, problem anymore, and I'm not as busy as I used to. What happened? The sub-chief told him, oh, sir, you didn't know this? Our people are watching this film called Jesus. And this film teaches about love and forgiveness, and uh, they, they stop cursing each other. They are now loving each other instead. As a result, that's why your life is not as busy as it used to be. And the Paramount chief got up and said, I need to see this film. I need to know what my people are watching. I want you to call them to, uh, so that they appear in my palace immediately. Then our church planters heard that they needed to appear at the Paramount Chief's palace. They went to this palace, pretty much shook up. They thought they were in trouble. When they got there, what they found was absolutely unexpected. The Paramount Chief actually invited all his sub-chiefs to come to the palace so that they can watch this film that the people have been watching. When they walked in the, up the palace, the church planters were told, okay, I understand you have been showing this film called Jesus to my people, and I need to know what my people have been watching, so I want you to show us here in the palace. They put the, the projector, they start showing the Jesus film in their heart language. There was no one, no one moved the entire time when the show, where the film was showing, you could practically hear people breathing. They're, it's, it's like so quiet. But at the, end of the, at the end of the film, the first person to get up to, say, to accept Jesus was that Paramount Chief. And he said, I want Jesus to be my master. I want him to be my king too. And when he did that, all the sub chips got up and accepted Jesus with him. That was the beginning of a real transformation in that people group. 
the 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 paramount chief didn't just accept and sit with his newfound faith he started moving from place to place with our church planters encouraging people to watch jesus and to be a follower of jesus that is the power of the gospel of jesus christ presented in the heart language of people jesus is lord right